Hello and welcome to this edition of Jerusalem Dateline. I'm Chris Mitchell. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's meeting with President Obama at the White House is their first face-to-face -face since the U.S. signed the Iranian nuclear deal. The meeting could set the tone for U.S.-Israeli relations for the rest of Obama's time in office. It's no secret the relationship between President Obama and Prime Minister Netanyahu has been one of the most strained in the history of U.S.-Israel relations. Former Israeli Ambassador Michael Oren says the Iranian nuclear deal adds a new layer of frost to an already cold relationship. The issue will be how can the United States help Israel uh, grapple with the greatly enhanced dangers that have been created by the deal. Oren points to Israel's northern border to cite a major example of that enhanced danger. Hezbollah terrorists in Lebanon receive a billion dollars from Iran each year. With the one billion dollars a year, Hezbollah has purchased 150,000 rockets, all pointed at us. This year, Iran's going to get 150 billion dollars in sanctions relief. That number over the next coming years is going to go up to about 700 billion dollars. So how many rockets will Hezbollah be able to buy with $2 billion, $3 billion, $10 billion? Oren says Israel should go on the offensive against Iran. We need not only to defend ourselves against Iran, we need to deter Iran. In part because of the Iranian deal, Israelis' opinion of President Obama is at historic lows. More than 60% consider him the worst U.S. president for Israel in the past 30 years. And nearly 80% believe the nuclear deal with Iran puts Israel in danger. We found those views reflected on the streets of Jerusalem. He's uh, abating, you know, with the other countries, Iran and Iraq, and treating them like allies rather than Israel. I think that people feel very insecure because of Obama. I don't think he, it seems like he's very ignorant as to the position he takes on, uh, with respect to Iran. I think he's the most anti-Israel president since Jimmy Carter. I'm very happy that his term is ending, and I'm hoping that the next president will be pro-Israel. Oren came to Washington as ambassador, then watched an international friendship turn sour, and wrote about his experiences in the book Ally. He still believes, regardless of the strain, that U.S.-Israel relations are crucial to the stability of the region and the world. 